What is God's plan? Let's imagine you are God. You want to share life with intelligent beings in a loving relationship. They must have free will or their love would be an abomination, a farce, robot programming. Therefore, you create beings with truly free will, but that causes a dilemma. Some of those given free will choose to do evil. But if you don't create, then those who would choose to do good in love will never exist. So what do you do? Forever be alone? Or create and ordain all things will work together for the good of those who love you. Election unto salvation resolved God's dilemma. Only creatures with absolute free will could love God freely for who He is. But in a fallen world, few would be saved in this life. Most never hear the gospel. Many are deceived by the temptations and lives of this fallen realm and so ignore or despise what little of the gospel they heard. Therefore, God predestines the elect unto salvation, even if they must pass through hell first before they repent and believe in Jesus. Why didn't God predestine everyone unto salvation? That would violate their free will. Not all in the unfallen realm loved God after God loved them first. Absolutely free will resulting in about a third of the angels choosing evil. The analogy implies a third of humanity reject God's love also. They love evil. Forcing them into a relationship would be an evil act. Forcing them against their will is antithetical to God's character. For whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he predestined, these he also called whom he called. These he also justified, in whom he justified, these he also glorified. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming in which all who are in the graves will hear his voice. And come forth, those who have done good, to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. The torments of Hades are the antidote to the poison of the fall. Those torments cannot fail to bring one to their senses. Only those irrevocably set against living in God, in holiness and light, will fail to repent and believe in Jesus and be saved. Everyone has every opportunity to choose life and join the elect. To do so, the first step you should take if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior is to be born again by the Holy Spirit of God. Because Jesus did promise, if you confess Him before men, He will confess you in heaven before His Father and angels. I did that. I was born again after I confessed the Lord Jesus Christ publicly. God doesn't lie. He promised all who call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. There's no exceptions to that. So if you're a little afraid of confessing Christ before strangers, you can go to any nearby Bible-believing church, talk to the pastor. There likely will be an altar call or he will arrange one where you could go in front of the congregation and tell everyone that you want Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God has made this Jesus whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? 
Then Peter said to them, Repent, and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promises to you and to your children and to all who are afar off, as many as the Lord our God will call. And with many other words he testified and exhorted them, saying, Be saved from this perverse generation. For he says, In an acceptable time I have heard you, and in the day of salvation I have helped you. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. To learn more about these things or anything we've discussed in this video, go to my site, www.endtimenews.net. It's free. I don't ask for donations. You can download any blog, PDF, or Word format, and even if you don't agree, you will at least be entertained. You will be intellectually challenged. So check it out www.endtimesingular.endtimenews.net